Let's try 61 instead. I'm trying to multiply for a problem. Number 61. Well, remember, don't skip drawing the picture. Now, the picture here is very straightforward. It's really just uh, a linear movement. We know we're covering 140 meters. Well, I'll call that positive 140 if we choose to the right to be our positive direction and we're moving this way. This would be our initial point, and this would be our final point at 0 seconds and 3.6 seconds. It's moving at 53 meters per second at the end. And again, I'll call that a positive. And the question is, what is its speed at the beginning? So I'll go ahead and build that question into the sketch, write down our variables. And again, we know what our question is. So I should also write the direction of the velocity. So the velocity is to the right. And what's the direction of the acceleration? To the right as well. Because they basically are implying in the problem that we're speeding up. Well, if we're speeding up, then the acceleration and the velocity should be in the same direction. Remember, we should stop to get a prediction before we actually do any calculations. What can we predict about the answer here? Uh, we can predict that it's going to be smaller than the final. Yeah, we know the answer should be smaller than 53. So let's get in the habit of trying to predict our answers. So let's see, what numbers do we know? We know the final velocity, which is positive 53 meters per second. We know the time is 3.6 seconds. And we know the displacement is positive 140 meters. That's three numbers. 
So now we can pick out an equation. We pick the equation that's missing the acceleration. I think that's the same one we were just using. V initial, V final is 53. Time is 3.6. Displacement is 140. This has a little bit more algebra to it than the previous problems. We could start by dividing both sides by 3.6. Uh, then we could multiply both sides by 2. And then we could subtract 53 from both sides. And what did you get for that? 24.78 meters per second. All right, so, and did that come out positive or negative? Positive. Is that what we would expect? Yep, and does it match our prediction? Yes, because it's smaller than this velocity. So I'll go ahead and put that into the picture. Twenty-four point seven eight meters per second. Uh, and we're not worrying about significant figures here. That doesn't seem to be a big theme in your course. So we're just rounding things off to what feels good. So rounding this off to here, and then I can build that into the information that we have. Positive 24.78. Okay, so that was pretty straightforward. 